My name is Brian Ward. I'm the Managing Director of the PGI Cyber Company, which is part of the wider group of the PGI Risk Management Group. PGI Cyber, what we do is we provide training, education and cybersecurity services to a wide range of clients. We do it for government organisations, we do it for large corporate organisations, and we do it to, for small and medium enterprises. Because each of these approaches requires a very, very different approach. We actually try not to have a artificial or almost agri uh, algorithmic definition of a SME. Um, what I prefer to look at is organisations <coughs> who are small, uh, both in terms of resource, in terms of time, and an organisation that has to perpetually manage and juggle a number of business risks um, at the same time and require fast, dynamic and generally commoditised services to help them mitigate that risk. Digital security needs to be a relative priority for SMEs. Um, I know from running a small to medium enterprise you are balancing all the time different risks and different threats. Um, what small to medium enterprises have to recognise they have to do something about what is simply a modern 21st century threat but not to, to the extent where they are spending a disproportionate amount of time effort, and um, effort in solving it. Common misperception about cybersecurity is um, for, for certainly for the SME market or small to medium enterprise market is they believe it is very complicated, they believe it is extremely expensive and rather unfortunately that is a consequence either by accident or design of government and the IT security industry and uh, the media making it so. Um, the, from the vast majority, not all, but the vast majority of the criminal risks are what we consider to be drive-by criminals. These are um, organisations who system systemically go after small to medium enterprises because they recognise the defences are lower, so it tends to be quite sector agnostic um, and will um, either uh, deploy hostile ransomware on their systems or steal data for onward sale. And it is this is probably the highest level of risk that SMEs uh, face, other than specific risks where if they are part of a particularly sensitive supply chain or they are dependent entirely upon their uh, intellectual property, in which case a slightly different but still proportionate risk management approach needs to be taken. What these offer SMEs is a blended set of, 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 of products and services. First of all, they are affordable and they are, they are designed specifically to manage the nature of the threat that most small to medium enterprises uh, face, which is small batches of education, basic security measures, basic control measures, um, all incredibly affordable. And if those are, those are adopted, they will reduce, re, uh, they will remove the majority of cyber risk for most SMEs. And it's done quickly, easily, and in line with the way most SMEs um, um, balance threat, balance threat management. Generally, what's available in the marketplace? The marketplace is being built around a number of things. It's being built around large corporates buying large packages of very expensive products. No other company, I think, focuses on the problems that small to medium enterprises have in running a, uh, in running a, a, a small business, which is managing a risk uh, properly, quickly, effectively. To most organisations in the marketplace, they're not interested in those clients because they think they aren't worth enough money. From a PGI point of view, and this I think comes from my and, and the organisation's very strong public service background, is actually we have a responsibility to help these organisations. In 2017, I want small to medium enterprises to look at PGI and say, this is the organisation we go to, they understand our risk, they don't try and exploit us, they give us an affordable, manageable service, they're trustworthy, they're reliable, and they genuinely understand some of the issues with, uh, that, that we face. They don't try and scare us, and actually they understand that cyber risk is just one of the many risks of running a business in the 21st century.